Welcome to Frequently Asked Questions about Natural Migraine Relief for Women. This is episode four, where we're going to discuss migraines and comorbid medical conditions. Hi, Jeff Baker here again as your physician host for Frequently Asked Questions about Natural Migraine Relief for Women. Today, I'm going to discuss how migraines can overlap with other comorbid medical conditions. Comorbid, that's a dreadful term that sounds like it should be in the subtitle of a mortician's textbook. But all it really means is the simultaneous presence of an additional disease or medical condition in a patient. Well, what a surprise. If you live long enough, you might just have two things on your medical problem list. And they may not be related, like having both a rotator cuff tear and a toenail fungus. But what if they are? There are several medical conditions that occur with a higher frequency in those with migraines, and it's a long list. Let's see if any of them apply to you. Hypertension, irritable bowel syndrome, restless leg syndrome, depression, anemia, insomnia, seizure disorders, anxiety and panic disorders, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and other musculoskeletal conditions as well as other potentially related disorders, including PTSD, vitamin D3 deficiency, asthma, allergies, and eczematous skin conditions, psoriasis, heart disease and strokes, female reproductive disorders like endometriosis or fibrocystic breast changes, PMS and other cyclic hormone conditions, bipolar disorder and personality disorders, and even having growing pains which are aches in your arms and legs during rapid growth phases of adolescence is associated with a 50% greater odds of developing migraines later. Wow, that is a lot of disease overlap. And why so many? Perhaps it's because there are so many varieties of root causes for diseases and oftentimes they can overlap. Comorbid conditions are often mentioned in pairs as there may be a reason to think that one condition contributes to the other. I think that an interesting question to ask about the potential comorbid relationship might be, what if the two or more problems have a common root cause? Hmm. Maybe we could smack two comorbid conditions with a common stone, so to speak. Now, admittedly, sometimes it is a chicken and egg problem. Did the other health problem aggravate the migraine or vice versa? or both, and what if they both have more than one underlying and promoting root cause? That might provide options with even better synergy, and if that's the case, how could we find out what those common elements are and then what can we do for them? There are many underlying genetic, biochemical, hormonal, cell energy-based, nutrient de deficit, brain chemistry, and structural root cause factors that can combine to provoke both the listed comorbid conditions and your migraine headaches. If you could understand which root cause factors apply most specifically to your story, it might help to predict which options lead to successful non-drug therapy. Let me give you an example. If over the years you've experienced endometriosis or fibroids, abnormal pap tests, fibrocystic breast changes, or have a family history of breast cancer, you may have as an underlying factor some degree of estrogen dominance. Or you could also be producing excess amounts of a proliferative estrogen metabolite called 16-hydroxyestrone, or both could be an issue. Proproliferative just means that the hormone metabolite overstimulates every cell that is sensitive to it. And each of these two factors can also underlie or promote migraine headaches. For this discussion, I'll go directly to the second case, that of excess proproliferative estrogen metabolites. You can actually measure your levels with a 24-hour urine collection for estrogen metabolites although you'll find that most clinics or labs do not have this available. 
At the end of this posting, I have listed four resources for this test that you can research further yourself. As an alternate strategy, you could also go directly to blocking these side effect prone metabolites by taking concentrated extracts from cruciferous vegetables such as methane, called DIM, or indole-3-carbonyl, known as I3C. These extracts can dramatically reduce those bad girl 16-hydroxyestrone metabolites. I've seen this work time after time with one, proof of effect with before and after estrogen metabolite evaluations, and two, by a clinical reduction of estrogen-driven inflammation in abnormal pap tests, fibrocystic breast problems, and oh yes, that comorbid condition known as migraine. I have used this version of root cause therapy as one of several tools to simultaneously address migraine and reproductive organ system disorders many times over the years. I like a version of these extracts known as DIM Plus by a company called Nature's Way. Taking it at 100 milligrams per day is an entry level therapy specific to this situation. Some significant excess 16 hydroxyestrone states or therapy as an adjunct to breast cancer may benefit from 200 milligrams a day. It's best to take this supplement with a meal. If in the process of reducing migraines, we can also find root cause factors that overlap with other health problems, we might just scale down some of your current comorbid problems in the process. Our aim is to turn you into one of the, I didn't realize how bad I was until I got better crew. There are many, many more options to help you find and address comorbid links to migraines. From my 35 years of experience in managing headaches and hormones, I've developed the online course, Natural Migraine Relief for Women, which examines in detail 10 major root cause factors for migraine headaches, and it's written specifically for women with migraines. The Natural Migraine Relief course uses the unique Migraine Action Plan tool to help you assess the potential overlap of over 60 health conditions and medical comorbidities. It will also direct you to which of the more than 90 specific non-drug intervention options are most applicable to your migraine story. To learn more about this course, what it offers, and how to get started, go to naturalmigrainerelief.online. Also remember to subscribe to this Substack blog or YouTube channel to get regular postings on frequently asked questions about natural migraine relief for women. As I'd promised, here are some resources to discuss where to find the urinary estrogen metabolite testing. In no particular order, I like Genova Diagnostics, Doctors Data, Meridian Valley Lab, and ZRT Labs, and I've included here the uh, main website addresses for you. You can search each site and look at uh, urinary estrogen metabolites, and many of them can also help you find local uh, physicians who do testing through that company.